feet, I'm Kyle Meredith. I'm here with uh, Benjamin and Allie of School of Seven Bells. Thanks for uh, hanging in here, guys. Yeah, nice. absolutely. Nice for you to drop in. Of course. Uh, love the new record, Ghost Story. In fact, the, uh, the whole trilogy of albums so far. It is a trilogy, yeah. isn't it? It, it is now. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been said before, but it is now. Yeah. Uh, interesting thing with you guys, and it's one of the first things I noticed right on that first record, because there was... Um, uh, whatever genre you, you put this in, and I, I think you can do it a million different niche things. Mm -hmm. But there were so many bands that were doing this that, you know, you went, ah, uh, here they are retracing the 80s, and they sound like the 80s hit. You guys skirted it. Somehow you didn't sound like the 80s. Somehow it was still new. And how did that happen? Because why was that everybody else sounded so much like that, but you guys were able to kind of jump past that? I, that's, uh, well, thank you. That's a really nice compliment. appreciate that. I, I think to me, um, we, I think we were never so concerned of being a, a, what type of band we were going to be or what sort of shoes we were going to fill or what kind of sets a DJ would be able to play our music in. It was more like, I think that we were actually, you know, in, probably influenced by the same things, you know, probably even more deeply, but in the sense that I feel like a lot of bands from that era we're really just trying to write great songs and make them sound uh, sound unique sure. and try to play them in using production and using sounds to tell the story like in their own way. Um, and a lot and a lot of that thing that is 80s is just because that's where technology was at at that mm -hmm. time. But technology isn't there right now. You know, it's there's so many other things you can do to sort of tell the story of the song, and that's what we're always really interested in. No, it was, it, it was a great uh, breath of fresh air and everything, um, you know, for an entire decade it seems like it was the first decade of music that was retracing steps. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's true. We weren't creating really anything anymore. You guys, like I said, were able to kind of jump past that. And, uh, well, I appreciate that. I mean, we've been accused of, of much worse, but, you know, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, that's cool. I mean, that's, I'm glad you hear that because that's what we're, you know, that's what we're going for. Well, Chris, you know, you, you've talked about it a ton, uh, the theme of this record, uh, the character of this record. Uh, the one thing I've really loved hearing about, though, as you did write for a character, um, that was still you, uh, and it became this personal record, as you've said in other interviews. Yeah. Has that, and no pun intended, but has that come back to haunt you? Uh, as you're writing so personally, you know, has, has anyone came up and said, really? Oh, no. I, I was really surprised, actually, because when I was writing a lot of the lyrics, I felt like they were so transparent. Yeah. I was just like, people around me are going to know what these songs are about, but no yeah. one's ever come up to me. And, you I think know. they're too embarrassed. They don't want to think it's about <laughs> Yeah, that. I know. <laughs> exactly. But, um, you know, it's, it's, um, I like the fact that it is a separate name, like Le Fay, because not only, I mean, it could be other people, but a lot of the times I, I could be talking about myself as well, you sure. know, we're all, we're all human, we all make mistakes, and um, I wanted to separate her for that reason, mm -hmm. you know, not just be like, this is the Alley Show, or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> I see album number four now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's actually what it's called, <laughs> <laughs> the, the Alley Show. <laughs> Perfect. You know, it, it, it's an interesting way to write, though. You know, I mean, it's obviously not been, you know, it's not the first time it's been done anyway. But when you're setting into that, how do you build a character? I mean, what, what's that light bulb moment? And then, you know, as you work on it, you, I mean, you take a band like The Who who writes a rock opera and they say, you know, we're going to write Butterfinger and it's going to be about. Yeah. I mean, is that similar? It, obviously, you weren't in The Who, but. No. Yet. No, not yet. Not yet, of course. Um, <laughs> No, I, I was, uh, you know, I didn't even realize that it was a concept type of record. I didn't realize that I was writing with any particular kind of theme until maybe midway through it. And then I was like, wait a minute, I, I keep, feel like I keep writing these letters, you know, and I feel like it's coming from obviously the same person. I was at a certain point in my life. And um, so I, I didn't do it intentionally. But once I realized what was happening, I Full fully on. went for it. Yeah. I just jumped in. What, was it hard? I mean, had you done it like that before? Do you ever write stories? Um, no. No. It's no. not something new. Yeah, it's completely new. Yeah. I've never done that. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's sort of a history of that. You know, we have songs like on Disconnect from Desire called Jovian and oh, yeah. Camarilla and Babylonia, which are all sort of about characters. And on the first album, My Cable, which is about a, a character. I mean, there's... 
it seems like it was something that would pop up in little places, and I think and we felt like those were always our most exciting songs, so it just, ex just explode it into an entire record. You know? That's my soundtrack we're getting right there. Yeah. <laughs> very, you guys song. Very, very, very 80s. Song. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. very 80s. <laughs> <laughs> well, beyond that, um, it, it also seems like it went much further than the album. It went much further than the songs. Uh, there is a look to School of Seven Bells. There is a mood to your videos and everything. And is that something you guys do? I mean, is there like this great grand powwow session when you're writing the record that says, if we're building a character, let's, we have to build it all the way through beyond the song? Because it definitely comes across like yeah. that. Yeah. And maybe it's your natural personality. We, well, we, I don't know. We, we, we think about our, I don't know, maybe it sounds convoluted or something, but we do think of our, of each record as like a, as a world into itself. Sure. And we don't, we, we, we really don't want to retrace the steps that we've done before. You know, we want it to be complete in and of itself and stand alone and not really, uh, you know, maybe there, there's a, there's a, um, you can trace it back through time because it's the two of us, it's mm -hmm. two of our personalities. But we do, you know, ghost stories of, is a world. It's a, it's a complete picture, yeah. you know. And, and we do think about that, but um, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to. I mean, we're not that careerist where we're like we're gonna put on ghost story clothes sure. and ghost story shirts and get ghost story haircuts and all this stuff like that. I mean, it's not really that. Yet. I mean, it's just, it's just us. It, but that's the thing is it emanates from where we are at that particular time, so I guess it's a bit of both. Yeah, yeah. And I heard you guys uh, actually earlier today playing on the radio, and I always wondered, acoustic, you know, how it sounds. Does it start like that? Because, I mean, the songs are so, I mean, you know, there's so much, many cool things going on. And in fact, this record there might be less going on than, than ever, but still mm -hmm. to hear it on acoustic and then hear the album version, it's, it's almost entirely different. Um, sometimes it does. Yeah. You know, we, we, for this record anyways, we wrote side by side. Mm -hmm. um, ben does the production on the record, so I was basically just next to him while he was working on this and we were coming up with songs together immediately just as he was writing them. The, the music for them mm -hmm. and things like that. So sometimes it does come out that way. Right. Yeah. It's really interesting just to hear like two different, totally different versions yeah. of the well, same thing. I think that's what makes us, I mean, we're never, that's what makes us not so similar to a lot of bands that are more experimental in a way because um, I don't think that we have the, we're not really interested in like a sound or just a, just the mood telling the story of the song or just having a, you know, freak out be a song. I mean, it's always, we were such a big fan of great songwriting. And um, I mean, it has to be able to translate into any, any scenario, whether it's just a piano or a guitar or an iPad or a, just vocals or anything like that. I mean, the song, if it can't stand, in, if it can't stand on its own legs in any scenario, then it's probably not that great of a song, in our opinion. It's so, a great way to put yeah. it right there. Um, of course, one of the more um, uh, interesting little parts of the backstory is a family of music right here. Your sister, mm -hmm. your brother, you both mm -hmm. come with that. Now you've dealt with, I mean, you, you split with you know, your old family, your brother's <laughs> in, of course, you know, sister left the band here and everything. Is that, I mean, it, w w was it total awkward moments there? It's your family, you gotta be around, you know, what's... It's still your family, you yeah. gotta see them, you know, they're in the band, then you're not. Well, it's not so awkward, I mean, my brother mixed Ghost Story with me, you know, I mean, we, we still have a really great musical relationship, and um, I don't know, I, maybe it's just, maybe it just we all happen to less be caught up in this sort of idea of, uh, I don't know, commitment. Sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> we just sort of come and go, but, um, you know, it's, I mean, you're, it's, not the, you're not the Gallagher brothers. <laughs> no, we're not, thank God. Thank God. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the thing is with, with School of Seven Bells, we, um, you know, the band started with, um, we've been through so many changes, you know, we started Ali and I writing, and then we got um, a couple of guys, um, a drummer and a bass player, and then Claudia came, and then those guys left, and then people started hearing our music, and so they knew us as the three, but they didn't really see phase one and two, and then we added a drummer, and then Claudia left, and it was just me and Allie and a drummer. 
So it's really, from our perspective, change is very, very normal. Right. You know, it's sort of been this weird people in orbit with us that come and go, and you know, maybe that's maybe that's confusing, but well, you know, I I'm mean, sorry. each record gets better and better and better, <laughs> so something must be working anyway. Whatever keeps you on your toes, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's you know, it's just the way we write songs together, sure. and like we said, it's it's just you know that song has to be able to live in any. Um, any environment you put it in, and when we write, it turns into something that we we don't really recognize. It's a, it's a really weird new animal that we don't That's true. That's really true. recognize. I mean, we if, you know if I wrote something alone, it would sound like me, and if Valerie wrote something alone, it would sound like her. But we write together for whatever reason. It sounds like schools and the bells, and I don't really understand why. But I don't think we should. Sure, not at Figure this point. It out. No, it's too late. Ghost Story sounds great. The Lil Wayne cover this sounds yeah. great. You made me like Lil Wayne. I yeah. didn't get him beforehand, but you know now it's a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, so. yeah. We're still trying to get, still trying to get Tunchi to hear it. But mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Do more of that. Do more yeah. of that. I mean, yeah. and, and Susie and the Banshees. You, you did that as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've done a lot of covers. One of our first releases was a Wire cover. You right, know? right, right. And we just did a um, Silver Apples one. So it's cool stuff. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun to play other people's music sometimes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Benjamin, Ali, School of Seven Bells, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Thanks.